Hey everyone, back in 2020 and 2021, when the 10-year treasury was in the 1-2% to range and the 30-year mortgage was near 3%, home sales surged, pushing house prices up by 34%. In January 2020, the median home price in the U.S. was about $283,000, but by the end of 2021, the median was up to $378,000. Then in 2022, the Federal Reserve responded to surging inflation and began pushing interest rates higher. The 10-year Treasury started 2022 at about 1.6% and it ended the year at about 3.9%. That drove the corresponding 30-year mortgage rate from 3.4% to about 6.4% by the end of 2022. As that was happening, many believed rising interest rates would squelch the home sales market and push home prices lower. At the time, I didn't buy into that theory. I suggested instead that home prices would flatten for a while, then begin to rise again. So, for the first half of 2023, home prices remained relatively stable, going from $386,000 at the beginning of the year to about $392,000 in June. That gave way to modest upward momentum, delivering 4.2% growth over the last 12 months through July 2024, raising the median home price to a little over $412,000. Now, that brings me to the current situation and the commercial real estate outlook in general. As the Fed prepares to reduce rates in September, there are a lot of questions about what will happen with home prices. Now, there are two primary reasons I didn't think home prices would fall when rates went up, and they're still in play today. The first was the lock-in effect of homeowners having very low 30-year mortgages somewhere in the 2-3% to range. Basically, very few people want to sell their home that has a 3% locked-in mortgage rate if they have to turn around and buy a new home with a 6% or 7% mortgage rate. As a result, the resale housing market shrunk dramatically. In addition, because the buyer pool was thinned by the higher mortgage rates, home builders also eased back on their pace of construction. So in net, the supply of houses for sale shrank substantially, keeping the for sale inventory in alignment with the reduced home buyer demand. That's one reason home prices have continued to face modest upward pricing pressure. The second factor to consider is the housing shortage. Basically, back in 2021, the U.S. had a housing supply shortage of about 3.5 to 5 million homes. And today, even though we've been adding about 1.5 million new housing units per year, the shortage hasn't materially changed. That's because the U.S. population is also growing by about 1.5 million people per year, and at the same time, the number of people per household has been getting smaller, and the number of single-person households has been increasing. As a result, the housing shortage has been treading water for the last few years, neither increasing nor decreasing, at least not materially. So there's still tremendous pent-up housing demand that has and will continue to put upward pressure on home prices. And that, in turn, together with elevated mortgage rates, has opened the affordability gap between home ownership and renting to its widest level on record. As of the second quarter, the payment on a median-priced home was about $1,300 more than the average rent on a monthly basis. And that will restrain the movement of renters into home ownership, reinforcing rental housing demand. At the same time, between 4.3 and 4.4 million people will turn 22 each year for the next five years, supporting new household formation. In 2022, household formation slowed because of people's fear of inflation and the risk of an impending recession. That increased the number of people who doubled up in their households and who chose to live with family. But going forward, if we avoid a recession and successfully achieve a soft landing, many of those households will debundle and household formation, especially by young adults, should rise.
As household formation increases and more rental housing is filled, there could be a spillover into demand for both retail and self-storage space. Several retail segments that have been a bit weak over the last couple years, like home furnishings, 